Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm going to show you the best base locations where I would build on the island in Arca Sanded. And if this video helps you out, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. On official servers without movement speed upgrade, on yourself, flyers, or any dinos, being next to the resources you want is more important than ever. As when you run out, you don't want to take half an hour to fly there, mine, and then another half an hour to come back. So these are the rules for my base locations. The most important, the location's got to be a short fly distance from the main resources. It's got to have flattish ground to build on, decent natural defences, it can't block explorer notes, and it can't block artifact entrances. We start off in the south, at this small mountain here with resources. It's got a small amount of metal and crystal. I would say enough for one base in this area to get you into the metal age when you're first starting a game. I farm most of it at the moment, as I pick this as my starting base, for my let's play I live stream. It's by the ocean so you can have sea creatures nearby. You only have to build a wall at the front as it's surrounded by a cliff or the other sides. And as you can see it's quite a good medium base location. And if you wanted more space you can have a curved out wall instead of a straight one. And that's the coordinates at 87 by 46. Then down a the river from there we have another cliff location with a nice flat top. As you can see it's a fairly big area. There's a ramp up here. I would build walls along the edge of this cliff all the way down here and then gate off this front area and have a gate either side. Then you've got all this cliff space to build on and that's at 83 by 50. Then across the river from there we have another cliff location. It's nice and flat on top and that's at 86 by 49. We have a cliff face all along the right, a small bridge there following all the way here where's a ramp up there's another small cliff face following it around then you go down and the cliff gets deeper so it's surrounded all sides apart from that ramp and again that's at 84 by 50 then from here if you want one of the biggest base locations in the south you cross over to the other side and you find this large cliff face here Right next to it is a large enclosed lagoon where you can keep your sea creatures and the entrance is over here. So you're protected from a cliff on this side. It's fairly flat on top. And you've got an outcrop here. You can build a tower or something and go across more cliffs. And there's a bridge going over to the other side. And carry on and there's a ramp going down if you want to get to the river and follow it up there's a small cliff face there and here is the opening you've got a gate and go through you can clear all this nice and flat from about here and it comes out with one of the best views in game and on the left side again cliff faces all the way around and it comes to that other base I showed you you can link the two together if you want and there's a ramp there and we follow it round and we come to that ramp where you go up to it from a river. Go through. That's one of the biggest and nice spots. That's at 88 by 53. But remember that mountain has only got enough resources to support about one base. So pick which location you like best. Next we'll go to the island in the bottom right hand side of the map. At 87 by 86. It has a nice lagoon to keep sea creatures and there is metal scattered all around the island. However, if you decide to build here, 
You can't build on or near the metal nodes, otherwise it won't spawn, which would kind of defeat the purpose of coming here. The top of a crescent are where most of the metal nodes spawn. So if you did build on this island, you'd have to build away from these. Probably around the lagoon, to be on the safe side. But the obvious problem is, yeah, you can get here on a raft, but if you want to bring dinos here or take yours to the main island, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Plus once this metal node's been farmed, you're about as far as possible from the main resource nodes at the top of the island. And the coordinates is 89 by 90. I won't build here, but if I left it out, people will say there's resources here, why didn't you mention it? Next we have this mountain here. There's metal scattered all around it, and on the top as well. And that's at 67 by 63. And if you go around to the side, there's a plateau area here. It's slanted there, but it straightens up and gets flat there. It's got another small flat area here. And you can wall this off. It's a small base location I'd take if all else were taken. Go up here, knock all this down and clear it, and build up here. This is as close as I would get to the swamp, and I won't build in any other swamp locations, as you might get a big rhino bug attacking your base. Then from this resource mountain again, the better options are across the way. We've got this plateau. It's surrounded by cliffs on all sides. You've got a ramp down to the river there, and you can wall that off. And that's at 64 by 68. Then across away from that, we've got this nice flat plateau here, again surrounded by cliff sides. You can build a ramp there. It's nice and flat, quite a good area. You can wall that off. Surrounded by cliff sides here as well. And that's at 59 by 67. Then we move to one of the largest base areas on the left hand side of a map. Which is fairly close to the volcano, so you can get your resources from that. And that's at 58 by 25. It's surrounded in front by cliffs. Back as well. There's a ramp up here. You can wall that off. And you've got a huge flat area where you can build a big size base. And if you want, you can expand up to here. And that's surrounded by a cliff as well. Or you could just wall that off. Or if you want to get really big, you can use that whole entire area. That's at 61 by 23. Far more resources from a volcano. Plus, that base is right next to where the beaver dams spawn. And just across the way, you have another base location. Which is a fairly good flat plateau at 53 by 25. You're surrounded by cliffs for protection. Then there's ramp up the side. Nice and flat on top. More cliffs on this side as well. And just clear everything. And wall off the back. And that's at 52 by 24. Then a bit up from there, you have this one, surrounded by the cliffs, but still by the volcano, at 44 by 20. Ramp up is on this side. It flattens up as you go across. Pretty flat at the top. And there's cliffs that side as well. 
Now there is explore notes there, but if you build a wall next to it, everyone else on the map should be able to get it fine. And it's at 44 by 19. There are resources in the middle of a redwood area, but it's a bit dangerous to build any base near here, as you get QTO tree tigers jumping out at you as you're flying by, grabbing you off your mount and giving you a big hug. It'd be a dangerous place to keep your animals as well. If you're going to build a tree platform base, I'd do it north on the edge of a forest, but I would build on the opposite side of a river because that takes us to our next great base location. Across away from a redwood resources, across the river, and you have this flat plateau sticking out right almost in the middle of a map. Surrounded all sides by cliff edge. You've got a ramp up each side, and you've got a nice flat area where you can build here. This is where my second base is going to be. I'm going to put my industrial forge. And that's at 47 by 48. You've got all the resources from Volcano and the mountain across from that. Then all the resources from the Redwood area. So I'd say this is one of the best spots to form all the materials you need. Then we go to the top right side of the map and we have this main mountain here with loads of resources on. We've got crystal, metal and obsidian. And from here we go down to the river and we've got this small plateau which I call the Eagle's Nest. It's got one plateau and then it goes up to another one. There's no explorer notes on there, so you find to build. Surrounded all sides by cliff, so you will have to build a ramp up. Or some ladders. And that's at 40 by 70. I've built here before, it's a good place. But you have to build vertically instead of horizontal. And you've also got that mountain to get resources from as well as well as that one. Then from Eagle's Nest we turn around we have this small flat plateau here sticking out. Cliffs either side. That's at 43 by 74. But if you go in again you've got cliffs each side. It opens up into a bigger flat plateau. Raises up a bit there. You can clear all this out, keep your dinos there, and come out again. And it's at 43 by 75. Then we cross over to the left of the river, and there's this mound here in the middle of a forest. At 34 71, you can clear all this, come out, and you're edge of a cliff. There's a ruin there. The entire side of the base is cliffed off. You've got flat surfaces to build on. Then all you've got to do is wall off the back to how big you want your base. And you're right in the middle of two main resource mountains. That's at 34 by 71. Then directly across the river from that base, you have almost exactly the same. Large cliff wall, ramp up the side, Clear all this, you'll find a flat area to build your base on. It's cliffed off. Build dino gates at the back, and it's at 35 by 74. Next, we move to the right of the map by the coast. We've got a cliff area here, two little islands. You can store some dolphins in there. Go up to the ramp either side of the cliff. And it's at 26 by 92. Clear all this off. Build all the way across here. And then wall this back section off. And you can have quite a long base. 
and you'll be able to farm resources right on this mountain. Then we have this small base location, again surrounded by cliffs. You can access it by the sides, wall this off. It's nice and flat. That coordinates is 24 by 65, almost in the snow area. And it's pretty close to most of the resource mountains. And then from that mountain by the coast, we have this nice cliff area on the top right hand side of the map. That's 18 by 78. It's got cliffs all around. All the way up to here, you get in here, door that off, clear everything, and build your base. And that's the other side you can get up at. And again, just wall off the back. That's at 17 by 77. Then we go a little way to the left to the oasis. And that coordinates is 16 by 73. Now beaver dams spawn in there. So you don't want to cover the water area because if you put structures down, the beavers won't spawn. Maybe build up the sides. And then you can build gate walls around the sides to stop anything falling in. And you're right in the middle of three different resource mountains with one of them being the snow one. Again, that's 18 by 72. Then we get to the snow area and you'll need fur to survive in here. We're in between mountains, so you can get resources from them. There's a fairly flat area here at 28 by 36. There's cliffs at this side. And you can go up the side, wall off the back again, and it gets fairly flat here. You should be able to find some place to build and just wall it off where you want. And it's at 27 by 35. And then we have this cliff area. As you can see, it's quite protected with a nice flat top at 29 by 8.3. You can wall all of the sides off if you want. Get resources from an ice mountain, but we're a bit harder to see than the others. And that's at 28 by 9. Then right next to that, you have this cutout section. That's at 24 by 10. You have a ramp up and down here. Going down to a fairly flat area here. Then you can wall off the top, stop anything falling in. And you're right next to the snow mountain resources. And again, that's 24 by 11. On the Ascended Island map, they've changed a lot of the flat building areas to a more realistic, bumpy ground, which makes it harder to build. And yes, I have left out some of the good flat areas, which at first glance would look like a really good base area. You could build at those if you like, but when you're wasting hours of your life flying back from mining trips, you'll be thinking, yeah, I should have built where Nooblets told me to. If this video was helpful, please like. It'd be nice if you subscribe if you haven't already. And click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. It would help a lot if you shared the link for this video. I stream at a weekend so it'd be nice if you come and watched. And don't forget to check out the other videos at the end. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye and I hope you have a good day.